Hey everyone, this is Derek Davis, also known as Scallenger within the Jurassic Park community and others. <laughs> and today I bring to you a very special item from the prop store that I won, and that is Lot 119, the Phil Tippett Auction Early Sequence Printed Storyboard Binder from Jurassic Park which is my favorite movie of all time, for those of you who may not know me. <laughs> and it is quite an item that you are about to see opened as I open it in a special unboxing video. Well, I've actually never done an unboxing video before because usually everyone does them much better than I ever would. But since no one else has this item, I am the only one to do this. But I hope you enjoy it, and unfortunately I may annoyingly say that I've seen some of the pages before due to another situation that I had going on earlier last year. And I promise you all that will be revealed later on this year. But this is a lot more special to me because I actually own this item and I'm going to share every single page of it with you very soon, I hope. But there's a lot of pages to scan, so it's going to take some time. So I hope everyone will remain patient. And hopefully this video will do in the meantime. I hope you enjoy it. Well, let's cut this open and see what's inside. I got my scissors at the ready and I'm about to cut this baby open. I'm very excited to see it. So um, I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. So I'm gonna save the time here and cut past the cutting. All right, it is now cut open. And now I'm going to take a look and see exactly what is inside. Oh boy, well, got plenty of worms. <laughs> And here's an envelope. So let's see, let's uh, get this envelope open. There we are, open. Now let's see what is inside. Well, we got a nice little ad for the prop collection. So that's kind of cool. It's just a standard card. Own the original movie collectible. So that's kind of nice. But that's not what we're here for, is it? I think there's something else in here. Let's have a look. Oh, now this is nice. It is a certificate of authenticity for my item, which is lot 119, Phil Tippett Auction Early Sequence Printed Storyboard Binder from Jurassic Park. And it's got Phil's signature right there, as well as, well, let's see if you can see this properly. Uh, not the best lighting, but it's signed on behalf of the store of London. So, not sure. I guess this saw London at some point. Not too sure. It's the plane back, but it's cool that they got this in this plastic and the holographic logo of the prop store right there. And it's also got a embossed the prop store of London guaranteed. So that's pretty cool. So that's very important to have. Definitely shows authenticity. Now, if I can just remove these worms, I think it's right under here. And there it is. Definitely covered in plenty of bubble wrap, which is good. Definitely survived. But just to uh, make sure, let's move it over here for just a moment. Make sure there's nothing else in here before I go too crazy. Nope. Just had to be sure. All right, now beneath this bubble wrap here, I'm about to pull it off completely. I didn't want to try cutting it or tearing it off while recording in case I screwed it up somehow did not want to ruin a one-of-a-kind binder of important pieces so <laughs> here we go I'm gonna unveil it now all right nothing too special 
It is simply a black binder. It even has some dirt scuffs on it, which I remember seeing in the pictures on the website. But it's not about the binder. Although it does say JP on the side. And it's got a little 15, it looks like. Not sure what that's about, but the be careful of this backside is nothing but black. Alright, so now let's open this and see what's inside. I think that'll be good. Alright. What we got here is the Amblem Interoffice Memo from Rick Carter. It has some notes on storyboards as of 2591. The script for Jurassic Park is a work in progress, only distributed for budgeting and scheduling the movie. The script pages and storyboards in this notebook represent a starting point for discussion about scenes, i.e. what they should be and how to shoot them. Now from what I know, the date of this memo, 2591, that's not long after Michael Crichton's final draft that he wrote for them in the making of this movie before they started to gather further ideas and then move on to other screenwriters, eventually leading up to David Coep. But now there's something else here. Let's see. What is this? Very thin paper. But as you can see, that is Tim in the freezer of the kitchen. It looks like a cam monitor from when they filmed the movie. And it's kind of dirty on the back. I'm not sure why this is in here, but it is pretty cool. Looks like there's a few more. They're just like it. Oh no, this is just him right in the kitchen. But notice there's something missing. There's no raptor. So this is before they put in the visual effects of the movie. Here's another one. And another kitchen shot. And another one. And these are pretty cool. I mean, it's not something you see every day. And that's another shot of the kitchen. Oh, that's the famous shot, but again, no raptor. I think that's all that's in that little cubby there. But yeah, there's a couple pieces of paper right there from the memos. But let's get these pictures back in. Close to the order I had them in. Not that it seems to matter. But yeah, this is pretty amazing, guys, to finally have this after months of waiting to pay it off. I had a three month payment plan option since I don't make quite as much money as some people that probably took a bid on these things. Anyway, so what have we got here? Just so you know, this thing is pretty thick. Apparently there's over 300 pages of storyboards and other notes in here. So who knows how many pages there really are here. And since I plan on making this available for everyone to see in full, this is going to take a lot of scanning. <laughs> so I'm not really looking forward to that, but it'll still be a very amazing thing to do and just to see it all one step at a time. But this is kind of an interesting first page. Unfortunately, it's a little bent. It's probably been like that for a while. So, but it's got handwritten notes here, up-to-date list of what Stan Winston is building. And it's got a full-size creature list with some handwritten notes, including Triceratops hatching, which is something that we all know does not happen in the movie. In fact, there's no baby Triceratops at all, which is a famous scene. And notice these little check marks next to most of these titles. Helicopter away from Rex, A127. <laughs> Now that is something from an old script, including Crichton's, well, not one of Crichton's, I believe, but anyway. 
So lots of interesting notes to be found in here. January 22nd, 1991. So let's see, it looks like we got a script page here. I'm not sure for which version. A few script pages. Now I was told in the auction description that there would be script pages preceding storyboard sequences and also apparently other information here. So it looks like our first one we got is the revised 11590 Jurassic Park Main Road sequence, Rex Attacks Land Cruiser. So this is during the time Crichton was working on the script. So this is definitely pre-David Coep and many others. So now let's take a look. Now, some of you may know that I have actually seen some of these from another source, but I do not own any actual copies until now. This is the first time, and it's pretty amazing to finally be holding actually used copies. And these are pretty fine condition. And you notice they're all stamped, JP0008. I think that number signifies Phil Tippett, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is not how the sequence plays, not exactly anyway, in the final film. As you can see, Lex has a little doll And they call it the Land Cruiser, not the Ford Explorer. So there's that doll again. And we got some handwritten notes by Phil Tippett. Moves. I think it says breathes. Pointing at the stomach. So what Phil was doing was he was looking at these storyboards and trying to figure out how to make them more realistic, I suppose, for the dinosaurs and their interactions and probably give his own pointers. And there is some amazing stuff in here, and I don't think I've seen all of this one page at a time. I was pretty rushed when I originally looked at some of these from my other source. Now you're seeing... <laughs> I love these diagrams because that's not a typical storyboard. That's an actual diagram. I do not remember ever seeing anything like that. Maybe Phil Tippett inserted those in. Or maybe what I saw was an older version. So let's skip ahead a bit. I'm not sure how long this whole section is. Let's see, I don't want to go too far into another sequence. I definitely want to give everyone the gist of what is in here. And so far we're at page 61. Looks like we're looking through the night vision goggles. Let's skip ahead a bit. Don't get caught there. Getting towards the end of the sequence now. Still main road. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this just so happens to be one of the few pages that they showed on the auction site. There it is. And I'm feeling the actual pen strokes that Phil Tippett made. It's kind of cheesy of me to care about that, but there it is. So here we go. Land cruiser in the tree. And as we know, in this version, it was thrown by the T-Rex right into the tree, you know, level with itself, not down a, a sudden drop behind the fence like in the movie. But there's a lot of similarities here, as you can see, between the final movie. I think this is still, of course, Main Road takes up quite a big chunk. So... I know there's more sequences in the main road in here. There's still quite a bit of this book to go. 127 pages so far. Oh, 
think we went too far there. There's no dividers, unfortunately. Obviously no table of contents to really see exactly what is in here, but uh, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> this is kind of what I wanted the most, the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex at the Lagoon. Now I've seen a version of this as well, and we will see right now some more information. I wonder if there's any script pages. That looks like there are on the next page, yep. Script page right there, the beginning of it. Now, I'm not sure exactly what version of the script this is from. And we all know um, last year, or actually, yeah, it was last year, there was actually Michael Crichton's script finally surfaced, the final draft. But yeah, let's see. This looks familiar for me. And I've been wanting these particular storyboards for the river sequence, one of my favorite sequences from the book for years, and they appeared on eBay once, a few years ago, and I wanted to win them so bad, I actually tried to get people to help me, and we failed, unfortunately, but we were very, very close. But I'll just say that for more than double the price of just this sequence on eBay, I was able to get this whole binder for half that, so... This is definitely <laughs> much better than what I could have gotten in the past. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so there's more of that. I'm just going to skip ahead, but yeah, this is definitely the lagoon. And it's so exciting to have it finally. And I can't wait to share the whole thing with everybody. I'm just going to skip ahead because I know there's still quite a bit more to this book to go. Binder book, whatever. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to be careful and not move too fast as much as my fingers want to. Let's see. No. Oh, yeah, he's getting up. No, that's not good. But let's skip ahead. Uh, there we are. But these are in pretty fine condition, like it feels very, like it's only been turned maybe once or twice, which is definitely good. Sorry, it's pretty late at night here, but I could not help but open this now and have a look. Oh, oh, I just saw something. Oh my goodness. I was hoping to see this. <laughs> oh, this was not listed on their listing at the auction site, the helicopter rescue sequence. Now, they played around with the idea of a helicopter sequence at the end of the movie for quite some time. And these were some of their ideas. I just wonder how much is in here. I actually got to see some of this before, too. But it's, again, oh, that's blank. It's, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's see. Let's skip ahead a bit. Yeah, they had several different ideas, but they didn't ever go too far with them. That's pretty awesome, Rex grabbing onto the helicopter. God, it would have been awesome. Maybe a little too over the top and cheesy, but... Yeah, it looks like this is incomplete, unfortunately, but definitely gives you some ideas. Ah, now this is script page for Nedry. Again, not sure what version of the script this is. This looks like we got a bit of Nedry storyboards here. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to skip ahead a bit. It's going down the embankment. Is that Dilophosaurus right there? That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> so I guess he sees it before he hits it in this version. From what I could tell, unless I'm seeing things. Kind of see dinosaurs all the time now, pretty much. Still pretty good. About halfway through this binder right now, so there's still more to be seen. 
don't think I've ever seen these for sure. But most of these will be new to everybody because early storyboard sequences, none of those were in the making of Jurassic Park and very few have leaked online except through random websites from people who worked on the film. Uh, there he goes. And other sources like some of the eBay auctions, whatever pages the sellers would put up, we would get glimpses of these, but never the whole picture. But now we're getting what looks like anyway the the entire picture. I almost feel like I should be wearing gloves for this. <laughs> Maybe that would have been a little too overdone. I'm still just excited that we have the lagoon sequence finally. So we can see exactly what it could have been like. Ah, there we are. And I'm skipping quite a few pages here. So this is definitely the full sequence of Nedry's demise. He does not look like Wayne Knight. So <laughs> I don't know who they had in mind or what they had in mind, especially because, you know, in the book, he was always a rather obtuse person. But not in these storyboards. He looks like... More like Ed Regis, in my opinion, but what do I know? Okay, oh, skip the page. Oh, Baby Raptor in Nursery. This could be good. We got a script page here. Some more script pages. I really can't wait to see if it's just from one script or from various scripts, because we all know they had lots of scripts in the movie. Huh, big question mark is handwritten in. That's Interior Visitor Center on the tour, the nursery. So this is at the beginning of the tour. Not near the end, like, because you see the baby raptor twice in the novel. But this is the first scene with it. You can definitely tell in these storyboards, they have different artists here. Not all the same ones. Let me skip ahead a bit. I bet some of you are screaming, no, don't skip ahead. <laughs> I, I just want to see, still got a big chunk of this book left. Just want to see what else is in here. Like I said, don't worry, you guys. I'm definitely going to be sharing every single page of this with you. Oh, look at that. Six Stego. And as we, as many fans may know, the Stegosaurus was originally in the novel. But they changed it to his Triceratops in the movie. Sorry, there's some tape sticking out. Did not want it to get stuck on the page. So yeah, Stego area. Now this has definitely got to be a script page from a Crichton draft because they changed the two Triceratops after he was done. So these are definitely Crichton pages, most likely from the final draft that we probably already have, but still kind of cool to have actual pages, not scans. And we got the tail right there. And it looks like the head. So I'm sure this plays out very similar to the sick Triceratops. Oh, that was it. <laughs> I wonder if there was more to that. I'm sure there was. It's kind of odd that there was only those three pages. That kind of sucks. I was kind of excited for that. But there it is. Morning Tree. Got a script page there. Another one. Now this has got to be after the T-Rex main road attack. And those are Hadrosaurs. Reading them at the tree in the morning. Not Brachiosaurs. Another script page. Looks like it's still going. Yep. Oh, there's a Triceratops there. So they still have Triceratops. Oh, there's Ralph. There's some baby Triceratops action going on here. Oh, she's writing it. <laughs> now I'm I know they came up with many different versions of how this all played out. So I'm kind of curious. Artist is Tom C, by the way. They don't always show who the artist is on these. Oh my god, that's so cool. 
definitely something many people have wanted to see. And they almost got to film it, at least the baby triceratops. Now here's the first raptor pen scene. Again, this could be... Now see, this is definitely at least Crichton's final draft. Hammond stands with Wu before a holding pit stuck in the ground. Yeah, I really need to see what version this is. Let's have a look. That does not look like Hammond or Wu at all. <laughs> oh, lowering the steer. Okay, well, this is very much like the movie, except the pen looks like it's an indoor, not indoor, indoor pen. Kind of a cool design, though. Oh man, that's awesome. Close up Hammond. Does that look like Hammond? Yeah. I didn't think so. <laughs> I wonder when they originally thought of casting Richard Attenborough. Raptor escaped from Penn. Got another script page here. I remember this one. I've seen these before. I think it's attacking Arnold from behind. So Arnold originally had a oh, big question mark there. <laughs> originally attacked him like that. Raptor kitchen encounter. Now I know there was quite a few different versions of this too. Some script pages here. Let's see. There's a couple more. These are very, very preliminary storyboards because they had so many ideas in making this movie that they just kind of quickly got out their vision as fast as they could. So I'm sure there's lots of variations of how this plays out. It's very cool. I'm going to skip ahead. I think we all know how this mostly plays out. But still to see how early some of these ideas were and how much stayed and how much went, it's just kind of cool to see how far it changed. Okay, this one says, Raptor stalking through rotunda display. All right, more script pages. It's going to quickly, not too quickly, <laughs> go past those. Oh yeah, this now this is a cool idea. Of course the the toe clicking, definitely an idea they've been having fun with for a while. Oh now this is something I found out about not too long ago. There's an umbrella that the kids have. It's a spitter umbrella. And it squirts out water. It was going to be from the gift shop. Used to distract the velociraptor. But he impales it with his claw. And proceeds to tear it apart. Doesn't that seem a little bit familiar? Wasn't there a hologram of a Dilophosaurus that distracted the velociraptors in Jurassic World? Or a velociraptor? What's cool is then they proceed to run through the rib cage. Oh, and that happens too, apparently. Yeah, they kind of run through the rib cage, or kind of crawl through, and the raptor's on the other side, and oh my god, that would have been so cool. Tries to break in. So many variations of this. Another question mark there. I can't wait to go literally page by page and see all the different handwritten notes that could be in here. Let's see, I'm just kind of going through. None of these people look like they do in the movie, but that's okay. Almost at the end here. 
Let's see if there'll be any more sequences. Oh, there is one. What's this? Raptors in hatchery. This is likely near the very end. Probably like the novel. Got a script page in between that. Oh yeah, in the novel. Grant gets some syringes and tries to inject eggs with them to poison the raptors, thinking that they will eat them. Yeah, there's the eggs. It's really cool to see what their vision of scenes from the novel were like before everything changed. It's just something I've always wanted to know. But yeah, so we got that. It's probably the last sequence. Oh, that's cool. Oh no, wait, let's go back. Oh, that's a cool shot. There's an egg. It says, eggs start to hatch. And it's a baby triceratops. Full circle, as mentioned in that first page. That's supposed to be Grant holding the egg. This looks more like Ellie, <laughs> in my opinion. So I think we've got a few pages left here. So I doubt there's another sequence. Oh, wait, there is. It's about too soon. I've got some script pages. Oh, Raptors at Lodge. Very small text there. Script pages. Trying to be careful now because it's hard to grip. There's not much left. So it looks like these are just script pages. I don't think there's any more images. Yeah, I think that's the last page. That page is it's falling off. So that is it, guys. That is everything in there. And that was pretty amazing. There's some amazing stuff in there. And as you can see again, quite a few pages to go through. I know we flipped through a lot, but there's still a lot more to really look at. But yeah, I believe those are all the sequences. So, you know, jot those down if you like. And you can mark them off your wish list of things you always wanted to see in Jurassic Park that never were realized. But yeah, there's other people that won these auctions. So hopefully they will share with you their winnings as well. But I don't blame them if they don't because mine was very expensive. I'm sure theirs were too. But, you know, the more the merrier because there's some amazing ideas that went through the process of making what is, for many people, their favorite film. And I really can't wait to really delve into this appropriately but yeah, thank you for watching my unboxing of this you know, amazing binder and it's a real piece of cinema history that I finally have. Like I said, I've, I've always wanted something like this. I've been after something like this for many, many years now. And even though I had the chance to touch and look at very, very closely some of these types of items before within the past year, but this is something else to actually own it and to actually be able to share it with everybody without worrying about it. So yeah, there might be more surprises in here that I maybe skipped past during my page turns. So we will see, but yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned and have a good one.